Hi Pisces, welcome to the reading by the Blessing Foundry. So glad you're here. Um, today's reading is going to be a daily read to look at your current situation, what you might be feeling, what and what might be hidden for you, and what might be occurring in the other areas of your life. Um, we will go ahead and get going. Um, I went live today with the other channel, so I'm going to put the link to the other Pisces video in the description box if you guys want to check that out as well. All right, guys, let's see. If you haven't yet subscribed, I invite you to do so. Oh, let's see what Spirit says real quick. Okay, so, so you, working on a new calling or a new passion, a new focus um, in the in the interest of like perhaps business creation or wealth creation, um, this could, yeah, definitely like your calling in life. You're very focused on um, finances and success, business success and manifesting um, that security and stability and the material control over your life. Let's see. All right. Spirit, what message do you have for Pisces today? What do you want Pisces to know for their current situation? What messages do you have for Pisces today, Spirit? Okay, what is Pisces' current situation? So, Pisces, you may be at a point where you need to make a decision. You've been weighing your options, but you may not clearly see what the best option is. You're weighing, you know, it's a head over heart decision. And you may not, in fact, have clarity on what you need to do yet. Or it could be regarding a person. We'll get clarification for these. But it could, in fact, be a person in your life that um, is being indecisive as well. We'll see. And what are Pisces' feelings today? So, you know, you may be standing your ground, um, having your boundaries up. And that would make sense, Pisces, if, if you're in a situation that has indecision and maybe somebody's, you know, seesawing or your seesawing, oops, um, it would make sense that you might want to, you know, have your boundaries up or stand your guard or, you know, be in your, in your strength, right? And what is hidden from Pisces today? Okay, so there may in fact be um, a need to tap into your intuition to see what's occurring below the surface, right? So we have um, energy is the two of swords. We have the mental energy and we have the on guard energy. So there's there's something um, that may in fact be triggering you Pisces to feel, um, you know, that you have to like maybe take a step back and have your guard up, right? So, you know, the the to get clarity and truth around the situation, def definitely um, tap into your intuition. And what does Pisces need to know about love right now? Actually, let me change these. Ma magician. So somebody may, in fact, you know, either, you may be wanting to manifest love. Somebody may be wanting to manifest you in love. Um, for others of you, a very small group, you may have been experiencing manipulation around love. But I'm getting more of the creative energy of wanting to bring forth love here but only for some of you you could have experienced that manipulation and again we'll get clarification what what does pisces need to know about career and finances exactly you know in the shuffle we saw you know the king of pentacles pentacles come out that you know you're working on your coin pisces you're very focused you know you're, you're getting your your stuff together you're you're focused on your calling or focused on a new path in life and overall um movement towards um you're working on your security your self-reliance and making sure that you have the creature comforts and the material security that you um desire and what does pisces need to know overall permit you know use the learned wisdom from the experiences to light your way pisces you know we started off with the two of swords energy if this is in fact you um, you know, use the the wisdom that the um, hermit embodies um, from the experiences to see your way out of this um, blindfolded position. And oh, and what's the overall outcome for Pisces? See, Pisces, you're coming through. Like, I mean, no matter what's happening, you're seeing the truth of the situation. Whether you know this, what's occurring is 
somebody is having the indecision, which is making you, you know, be on guard and you need to tap into your intuition to see the situation clearly. Or if you're in a place of indecision, you're, you know, taking a firm ground, having your boundaries up so you can take the time to clearly see um, what is going on and how you need to move within the situation. So now we'll get clarification for these. All right, Spirit, please clarify these cards for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know about the Two of Swords, please? What does Pisces need to know about the Two of Swords, please? Magician. So, you know, there may be something that you're making a decision about having to let go of or to hold on to, right? So this is like, I'm getting catch and release, right? You may be in a situation where you 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 came into something or a situation and you're trying to decide, you know, is this fish big enough, kind of, right? Or do I need to let it go into the water? Um, so, you know, it's kind of like holding on. You know, you're, you're wanting to have that stability, that groundedness. You're wanting to have, um, I'm getting reassurance, even though, you know, this isn't typically a card of reinsurance, reassurance. But I'm, I'm getting that that is what's going to help you transition out of a two of swords energy or that indecision that making a choice and not really seeing clearly what choice um whatever um path helps you to feel assured and comfortable um and you know whatever has the best um most comforting energy around it will be a guide as to which direction you need to go what is the seven of wands for pisces please what is the seven of wands for pisces for their feelings. What is the Seven of Wands for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know about the Seven of Wands, please, Spirit? Queen of Queen of Wands. You know, Pisces, the Seven of Wands is what you're feeling today, so probably on guard. Um, and, and the thing is, you know, the Queen of Wands is in her power, in her beauty. She's very attractive, you know, male or female. It's just the energy that this card embodies. Um, the, the Queen of Wands sits back and and has admirers people a moth to the flame is what i'm getting you know so perhaps that's what this is is you have many people coming and trying to tap into your energy um and and you're sitting back but you're also having to have your boundaries up too um i'm getting self-preservation um you know if a lot of people are trying to you know come around you're, you're just trying to you know, decide on, you know, which ones to allow near you or not. What is this Queen of Cups for Pisces, please? What is this Queen of Cups for Pisces, please? What is this Queen of Cups for Pisces? Hold on one second, guys. Okay. What is this Queen of Cups for Pisces, please, Spirit? What do you want them to know about this? What is hidden? Queen of Cups, what is hidden? Please cl clarify the... Queen of Cups for Pisces, please, Spirit. There's some trickery. There's some something around you that you feel uneasy about or that you don't see that's occurring. Some type of underhanded um, behavior. Something, um, so what I, I'm getting is somebody is not presenting the whole truth. Or, you know, and um, I get that you can probably feel that um, because energy never lies. And you are using your intuition to clearly discern the situation, but you still may have, um, you still may question your intuition because you're like, really, is this happening? I have no evidence of it really, but, but you know, I mean, you, you're the high priest Pisces. I mean, right. The, the two in tarot, the, the high priest in tarot, I mean, you're the moon. You understand that even when something is unseen, you still see it. And let's get one more card. One more card to clarify the Queen of Cups so we can understand this a little better, Spirit. One more card to clarify the Queen of Cups, please. Okay, let's see. Okay, so there's... And we have the moon coming out. A lot of options, healing. Okay, so... This may, in fact, be a situation where somebody is presenting... Um, themselves as something bright and shiny and trying to move forward with you Pisces but th they might in fact be offering um the same thing to multiple people um they have one toe in and one toe out um is what I'm getting and I think you might need to you know 
use your intuition to clearly discern that um, and see through the effery. Um, you know, hold on, let me see if I get any. I mean, if this is business, it could be, you know, making a strategic plan to have your new financial beginning and to move forward, um, but to make sure you clearly see all the different factors at hand and tapping into your crown chakra. So I get two scenarios here. So apply what best resonates with your situation, please, Pisces. You know, don't, don't force it to fit um, your situation if it's not your situation. Okay, let's just move these like this. Okay, and Spirit, what is this magician for Pisces? What do they need to know for love about the magician? What did... Okay. The star. Pisces, somebody is definitely looking at you like you are their wish fulfillment. Like, when they wish upon a star, they see you, right? Alternatively, this could be Aquarius, Aquarius trying to manifest you um, or you trying to manifest an Aquarius. But I get more so that, you know, you are refreshing, you know, with the water replenishing, um, your energy is pure and I'm, I'm drawn to the white flowers, um, pure and, and vibrant and, you know, full of like growth and possibility for this person. And, and they look at you and they're like, how can I get Pisces into my life? Because when, when I, I'm, I'm having, um, in my sacral right now, I'm having the um, feeling of fullness is moving up to my heart. So it's, it's like, uh, my chakras are kind of expanding right now. So this is what this person, um, is feeling energetically when they think about you and they're trying to figure out, let me get one more card, one more card to clarify this magician, please. One more card to clarify this magician. One more card to clarify. Thank you, spirit. In this person's eyes, you are everything. Um, they would like to come together with you and to have a new cycle. I'm, I'm getting, if it is somebody you know, um, it's not somebody you've been in relationship with. Um, I mean, you might just know they might be on the periphery of your life or you might have just met them, but it's, I'm, there's not any like old energy here. This is all new and fresh. Um, but this person, I mean, this is a very dynamic, um, connection, um, it, you probably both are when you, in some cases, in a, in the situation where you know who this person is, but have not been in union with them. Um, this would be almost like a, I'm getting a telepathic type of communication. Like when you each think about each other, but it, you, you don't have that connection enough to realize that's what it is. Okay. Let's move on to career and finance with the nine of pentacles. Spirit, what is... Pisces need to know about this nine of pentacles, please. What does Pisces need to know about this nine of pentacles? Okay, this is a lot. We'll take them. This might end up being a little bit of a longer reading, I guess. Um, okay, so there's going to be a quick shift or action taken um, regarding a team or coming together, you know, working with people. There's going to be a sudden shakeup, um, something is going to be coming forward. Um, you might get some type of increase um, or rec well, less recognition, more like re reward for your work, but some type of compensation that'll give you a little bit of pause, um, but it'll be a victory and it'll bring you, you know, satisfaction and abundance. And, you know, I think you may have been hoping or seeing this try to come forward. Um, this could also be, you know, using your intuition to accelerate um, team development and growth and, and raising yourself up. Um, the Six of Pentacles can be a card of um, coming up into a higher social standing where you're able to um, give generosity and be more generous and you're able to, you know, come to a place of repose or pause or um, rest because you're now um, not so much in the grind, but elevated in stature and position. Um, and you become victorious and you're, you know, in your abundance and satisfaction. These are both Pisces cards. So Pisces, you know, you're, you're just coming into your own here in your career. Okay, let's see. That was a lot of cards for that. All right. And what's this hermit card for general? What does Pisces need to know about the hermit card, please, spirit? What does Pisces need to know about the hermit card? What do you want Pisces to know about the Hermit card? 
and we get Queen of Cups again. So, you know, it's, it's going to be very important, Pisces, that you tap into your intuition and not only your intuition, but also your wisdom. You know, really pay attention to the experiences you've gone through and, and ask yourself, you know, what does this experience teach me? You know, what is the lesson within this scenario? Especially the ones that were particularly painful. Um, say, you know, you know, this really sucked instead of saying, focusing on how much it sucked or the suckery of it. Think about, okay, I understand. Let's take the, let's step back from the emotion of it and try to understand um, the utility of this experience. What is the lesson um, and how can I enable that to make me a better, stronger, wiser person so I can make better choices and decisions going forward? I'm going to get one more card for the hermit. One more card to clarify this hermit, please, Spirit. What do you want, Pisces, to know? One more card to clarify this hermit. One more card to clarify this hermit, please. One more card to clarify the hermit, please, Spirit. What do you want, Pisces, to know about the hermit? Please be specific in your guidance, please. Yeah, so instead of focusing on the pain and suffering, focus on the joy. You know, it's, it's, it's asking you to change your focus from anything that might be negative and lowering your vibration to taking a neutral point of view on it um, and able to, to, you know, support you on your soul's journey. And what is the sun for the overall outcome? What do you want Pisces to know about the sun, please? And we get the nine of pentacles again. You know, Pisces, you're going to get some news. You know, something something is going to be coming forward um, that's going to, again, you know, elevate you, lift you up. You know, you might be in a position right now where you're, you're questioning and having some type of doubt, feeling like you're on guard, not really sure about people's intent or motives around you or in the situations at hand. But, you know, spirit has clearly been stating, Pisces, you know, you have all the skills and talents to navigate through this uncertainty and to come out um, ahead, you know, come out shining and, and feeling renewed. You know, there is probably going to be some type of message or communication um, that is in a positive light regarding your finances and your self-reliance. Um, maybe it's a, it's a small... Um, small increase or small amount of money that's coming to you but but I'm I'm getting you know the sense of independence and the sense of confidence and the the overall sense of empowerment and not needing to rely on people because you are in fact you know you you have the wisdom you have the strength and and you're you're just you have yourself together you know, so you can be in a situation where instead of needing, like how I had said earlier about catch and release, you know, if a person is starving, they're not going to have the option of catch and release because no matter what comes on their hook, they're going to eat that fish, right? But if you're in a position where you have afforded yourself the opportunity to, to evaluate and to choose and to make choices, you know, you are in a position where you can, in fact, um, practice catch and release because you're not dependent on anything little bite that comes onto your hook one card for the overall message of this reading please spirit one card for the overall message of this re reading please one card for the overall message of this reading please spirit what do you want pisces to know one card for the overall message of this reading please spirit destiny you know so so this is an opportunity for you a time in your soul's journey pisces where you know spirit is calling upon you to like elevate your game to level up right to to use the the pain and the trauma and the experiences even even the good you know the good the bad the ugly of the past to really have that introspection to understand um, from a higher point of view, you know, a higher um, perspective, how it can not keep you into a low vibration of negativity, of lack, of doubt, but how it can elevate you into the nine of pentacles, you know, and bring you into this happiness. And I think, you know, also as you do this, this work, right, this soul work, um, you're going to have, you know, and this message could even be the internal 
um, awakening or knowledge, you say, you know, enlightening to the fact that you are, in fact, you know, a lot more, a lot more um, secure, a lot more stable, a lot more, you know, put together than what you even give yourself credit for. So that is what I have for you, Pisces. I hope it helps. God bless.